सिटीज लाइक कौशाम्बी पाटलिपुत्र मथुरा वाराणसी वैशाली एक्सेट्रा फ्लरिस्ट इन द गुप्ता पीरियड दीज सिटीज वर नॉट ओनली पॉलिटिकल सेंटर्स बट दे वर ऑल्सो सेंटर्स ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड कल्चर इन दीज सिटीज ए कंसिडरेबल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ एफ्लुएंट इंडिविजुअल्स लिव्ड एंड इन संस्कृत लिटररी सोर्सेज दीज एफ्लुएंट सिटी ड्वेलर्स आर कॉल्ड नागरक If you look at Vatsyayan Kama Sutra this text is an important text for us to understand how a nagraka was expected to live his life in the city the text devotes an entire chapter called nagraka vrittam where the life pattern of a nagraka has been discussed here in this chapter vatsyayan describes in vivid detail the life of a nagraka who has completed his education and has entered the grahastha ashram or he is living the life of a householder so basically he has a wife and according to uh, vatsyayan this nagaraka should have considerable wealth and leisure at his disposal according to vatsyayan this wealth can come from two sources it could be either generational wealth that has been obtained through inheritance or it could come through the pursuit of one's profession here vatsyayan makes it clear that the profession of a nagraka should be in accordance with his caste and his position in the society although our nagraka is now a householder it was expected of him to continue his study in this pursuit apart from the knowledge of conventional subjects he was expected to know about the art of gardening composing poems and the knowledge of rules and regulation of society the study of literature art dance and music was necessary for a nagraka the nagraka lived in his own home and the design and how the home was built reflected the taste and elegance of the householder vatsyayan also mentions the importance of furniture and decorations in the house as it reflected how artistic the owner is he recommends that the house should be built close to a water supply and a garden or vrikshvatika in this vrikshvatika there should be flowering plants and fruit trees if you look at the house of the nagraka generally white color was preferred to paint the outer walls and the surface of the house was decorated with mosaic works of corals and precious stones the house itself was generally divided into two parts the inner apartment and the outer apartment the inner apartment was the residence of the wife of the nagraka whereas in the outer apartment he met his visitors most of the nagraka's time was spent in the outer apartment vatsyayan mentions that in this outer apartment there should be two couches with soft beds and white sheets on them the design of these couches has also been mentioned by vatsyayan so he tells us that these couches should sink in the middle and on both the ends of these couches pillows should be placed near the couches on the floor a carpet with some cushions should be spread outside these rooms there were some cages where birds were kept and these caged birds were used for sports and games so we have seen how the house of a nagraka would have looked now let's see a day in the life of a nagraka the nagraka was expected to start his day early in the morning and after finishing his morning duties he was expected to brush his teeth the term which vatsyayan uses for it is dant dhavana according to vatsyayan a nagraka should bathe daily and this should be done before taking food the massage of the body with scented oils should happen on every alternative day and the use of soap to clean the body should happen on every 
third day whereas shaving should be done on the fourth day having bathed himself our nagraka applied a fine sandalwood paste on his forehead this sandalwood paste is called anu lepana instead of using perfume our nagraka used the smoke from incense and wafted it on his hair afterwards vatsayan tells us that having eaten some betel he the nagraka places a necklace of scented flowers around his neck after which he begins his daily routine in this chapter vatsayan also tells us how many meals should a nagraka take so according to vatsayan there should be two meals one in the morning and the other in the afternoon but he does tells us that a scholar named charayan mentions that the second meal should be taken in the evening in the afternoon there is also a mention of siesta or an afternoon nap which was followed by pleasant talks with friends if our nagraka wanted to enjoy himself he could also watch fights between cocks rams and quails vatsyayan also gives great attention to social gatherings or goshtis in which nagrakas of the same status and position in wealth knowledge and intelligence gathered in one place in these meetings it was also recommended that a nagraka should not speak too much in either sanskrit or the local dialect by local dialect it means prakrit he should strive a middle path which will earn him respect and it will show also that he has full control of both sanskrit and the local prakrit dialect in these meetings there were plentiful topics to be discussed vatsyayan list 64 arts and we are told that those nagrakas who knew all the 64 arts they were highly respected those nagrakas who wanted to shine in the society they were expected to spend liberally on hosting these frequent goshtis apart from these goshtis there were also drinking parties in which wine was served vatsyayan calls these drinking parties apanak so these are some of the details about how an affluent city dweller lived his life during the gupta period but it should be noted that this kind of lifestyle was restricted only to a small elite section of the city most of the city dwellers did not have this kind of lifestyle now if you like this video do watch this video as well where i have talked about gambling in ancient india if you like the channel do subscribe thank you for watching